For today's tutorial, I'm going to be doing a collaboration with Goldie Starling based on an illustrator that she introduced me to called Dustin Baylard, who does the most gloriously creepy Halloween-y type characters you have ever seen. So the two looks that we're going to be doing today are based on his work. I'm going to have a link to his work and Goldie's video down in the description box. So if you want to see either of those, go check them out. I'm sure you're going to love them. Now for my look, like an absolute idiot, I managed to lose half the footage. So what I'm going to do is try and explain it as thoroughly as I can halfway through the tutorial in this video but I'll also go more in depth on my blog post. If you want a really rough breakdown, you need to get a little bit of white foundation, put that in the center of the face, blend it out, and then I got a gun metal for the eyes. Now on the outside of the eyes, as you can see, I've kind of wriggled the color out so it looks almost like there's smoke coming off the eye. And then in the center, underneath the start of the brows, I put a red pigment. Now for the lashes, what I'm going to do is you just want to draw the lashes onto the skin. Later on, we're going to be adding actual lashes and some false lashes, but you want to draw them just like the paintings that you'll see on Dustin Baylard's Instagram profile. Now for the inside of the eye, you're going to raise that eyeliner a little bit just to make the eyes look a little bit more sad than they are. And then you're going to outline the tear duct in the inner corner of the eye. And I'm using a liquid eyeliner for this. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the inner side, eh, not on the inner side, on the other side. And then I'm going to outline the nose a little bit. As you can see for the nose, I've done some pretty extreme contouring. And then with the same liquid liner, I'm just going to do dots just down the center of the face, mainly focused on the apples of the cheek. Now the lips is where I had a lot of fun. I'm going to be using quite a few different colors. I'm going to start off with a pillar box red. And I'm going to really heavily line just underneath the lip. And then I'm going to be blending out and down on the corners of the lips. So on the corners of the lower lip, and then the corners of the upper lid. And I'm going to keep layering this color and blending it out more and more and more. And on the upper lid, what we're going to be doing, not on the upper lid, on the upper lip, sorry. We're going to be exaggerating the cupid's bow. And the main points of exaggeration on this are going to be the cupid's bow and then just underneath the lip. Then I'm going to take a darker red lip liner and this is just going to go down the center of the lip and blend that out. And then I'm going to be taking a mulberry color. On the upper lip, you want to outline that cupid's bow all the way into the corners. And then you're also going to be lining underneath the lower lip. And then bring that color up in the center and try and blend that out. It's not as much of a harsh line as it's got to be on the upper lip and just underneath the lower lip. There are going to be degrees of very sharp lines and then some very, very neat blending on this. Before I draw the highlights onto the lips, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that color a little bit up on the cupid's bow then with a matte white liquid eyeliner, I'm going to draw in the highlights all over the lips, mainly focusing on the cupid's bow and then on the center of the lower lip, but we're also going to put that a little bit down the center of the upper lip as well. Now for the nose, before I put the highlight there, I'm going to be put a bit more pink just at the very tip of my nose, and then I'm going to draw the highlighter with that exact same eyeliner before drawing the highlights around the eye. And the goal with a white eyeliner is to make the eye look sad and very, very glossy without actually putting a lot of gloss on your lid. And then the last little detail that I'm going to draw with this liquid eyeliner is I'm going to be applying it at the start of my brows and then it's going to taper out the further out on the brows it goes. For the lips I'm going to finish off with a bright red glittery lip gloss. And then for the eyes I'm going to be taking a gunmetal eyeliner but I'm just going to keep this to the outer corner of the lower lid and then that's going to taper out into the lashes. It's not going to go anywhere near the middle or the inner corner of the lid. Then I'm going to apply some false lashes with some strips of papers which I've hand cut and curled so that they make the lashes look much bigger and more doll-like. And then that's it. You're done. <laughs> 